just because of the alcohol. <laughs> but it's because I'm an egg. So I'm white on the outside and yellow on the inside. So guys, a wonderful good evening from Bangkok, Savannah Bumi International Airport. And today, two first timers for me. First time flying Singapore Airlines and first time flying on the 787-10 in business class from Bangkok to Singapore. Uh, how do you usually say you save the best for the rest? So after flying 100 more airlines, it's finally time to put Singapore Airlines to a test. I won't be easy on them because the expectations are quite high. So let's see how they perform today and I'm very curious. Um, I just wanted to show you the lounge but it's really packed so I can't really film there. So let's go to the gate and find out what their regional business class is all about. But yeah, let me give you a quick little seat tour. And as I said, this is the regional product. Uh, they don't um, deploy these birds uh, intercontinental. You have uh, noise cancelling headphones. Uh, the menu is already here. I'm going to talk you to that later. Uh, two USB slots, a universal power outlet, loads of storage space, um, remote control, and the in-flight entertainment right in front of you with a wonderful big screen. This is where your table is. You release it like this and then you can fold it. And hot towel just arrived as well. So flight time is around two hours. Uh, I had a look at the menu. Uh, it was quite some choice. Um, but as I said, I'm gonna talk you through that. A little later but I'm very excited I think this flight is gonna be very enjoyable and something I really like about those cocoon seats is that they are also extremely like noise cancelling so while you're in this little cocoon it does protect you from all the noise pollution on board which I experienced in Turkish Airlines which is really great it does improve your flight by a lot probably something I've also never seen uh, Singapore Airlines has a special video where they introduce all the features of your business class seats so they literally talk you through everything you you find here and in that way it is just like easily done for everyone easily to understand yeah that's pretty cool that's a cool feature I like that Unfortunately, I won't need these on this flight, um, but uh, I'll be back, Singapore Airlines. So what would be a flight review without criticism? Um, you probably noticed my little blush. No, I haven't had any alcohol yet, but this is because I think the cabin is a bit warm. I usually prefer when you have like individual air snoozles, but you don't have them in this cabin, which I don't like, especially when you have like 
long haul flights. Um, in the beginning, it's very cold in the cabin, but then it gets really warm, and this is when you need them. So, uh, yeah, right now, especially prior uh, takeoff and during boarding, it got very hot in this cabin. Um, but so far, that would be the only thing where I'd say, okay, and there's nothing they can change. And there's uh, like more in the near future. I don't know whether uh, they have it on their 350s or 380s, but uh, yeah, usually I prefer uh, these little air snoozles because they keep you air conditioned. And I should probably also point out that uh, there's Wi Fi connectivity on this uh, Dash 10 Dreamliner. So let's see how much it is and whether it's included. So yeah, like 30 megabytes for US dollars, 10 US dollars for 100 megabytes. Complimentary Wi-Fi access for business class travelers. Seat number is 19K. Let's see what's happening. Yes, I think I am connected. Or well, maybe I'm not. New customer sign up. Continue as a guest. My email, okay? Continue. So many questions. What do you want from me? Enjoy complimentary internet access. Connect. Success. So I am connected to the internet right now. Um, by the way, you get 100 megabytes. Um, yeah. So now it's also probably a good opportunity to follow me on Instagram. Um, that's where I share daily stories so you can follow all my nonsense. But uh, yeah, and you can get in touch with me if you want to. So this is what I'm being served on this 90 minute flight. I decided to go for the beef shake with, uh, comes with potatoes, a little salad, some natural juice, that's what the sauce was called. You get that salmon salad, and, uh, some cheesecake for dessert. And it looks beautiful. We had a few choices of wine, favorite drink in the air. But yeah, that looks pretty decent. If they have a taste the way it looks like, I'm sure it's gonna be all right. All right, let's dig in. And also, look at that salad. This is probably the biggest chunk of salmon I've ever seen on an airplane. Usually, they're quite stingy when it comes to salmon, but yeah, that's a massive chunk. So, and of course, when it comes to cheesecake, there's no better judge than me. I'm the biggest cheesecake fan ever, which you probably noticed from my previous videos. So far, the current world champion is still South African Airlines. So let's see whether we're going to have a contender here. It's pretty good, but not as good as the South African Airlines cheesecake. Yeah, Singapore Airlines, you, you're getting here. That's it, just finished. Um, loved it, it was great really really good can't complain what do you want me to say <laughs> it was actually pretty good yeah, and actually currently I'm on a visa run so I left Bali yesterday spent the night in Singapore um, flew to Bangkok had like four hours on the ground gear so I flew for scoot and the flight time is like yeah close to two hours and it felt like an eternity on scoot that's how bad it was and I actually get a headache already when I think about taking Scoot back to Bali. But this flight is like, we're halfway through it. And uh, yeah, time flies on Singapore Airlines, it seems. What can you do, hey? Also, you should subscribe to my channel because after this, I'll be flying a Scoot in economy class on their 787 Dreamliner. It's been a review that has been requested for quite some time. As you can see, the seats also alternate, so all the odd numbers, uh, the one I'm sitting at, they're closer to the window, so a bit more privacy. And then uh, you have the other ones which are a bit closer um, to the aisle. Usually with those cocoon seats, you don't really notice it because of the cocoon. And then, of course, in the middle row, they alternate as well, where you have uh, the honeymoon uh, setup where those seats are closer to each other um, and then 
you have uh, the ones that are separated with some storage space in between, so they alternate as well. So I've also noticed the crew, they're like super nice, super friendly, it's a really nice and funny bunch. And then they're also very talkative. <laughs> but yeah, now, now I have a blush. And now it's because of the alcohol, the Asian blush. But it's because I'm an egg. So I'm white on the outside and yellow on the inside. Because I spent years and years living in Asia. So, not a banana, an egg. <laughs> Yeah, I should stop drinking, I know. Such nonsense. <laughs> so, and of course, this seat also goes completely flat. And I have to point out this pillow. This pillow is like the fluffiest regional business class pillow I've ever had. It's time to go flat and let's see what it's like. That was my criticism with uh, Turkish Airlines when we went flat. Um, I felt a bit like a coffin and imagine like 16 hours on that seat wouldn't have been too comfortable so let's see what this is like let's go flat now since I like turn around a little bit and explore the space it is actually not too bad I don't know whether there's a difference in this seat and Turkish Airlines but I have a bit of a like impression that this one is a little more spacious it's not too much of a coffin i have had better seats you know with more space um but yeah that's okay i could just like stay now here and like sleep i wish we would get di diverted to bali that would be the best case scenario and i don't have to go on scoot and do like three hours of economy class on one of the worst budget airlines i've traveled on you can't just always travel in business if you want to do reviews you got to do the economy class reviews as well yeah well anyways this is the flatbed experience here on Singapore Airlines oh did I mention it's also my very first flight on the Dash 10 right and the Dash 10 has only been in service since last year I don't know do you know who else is operating the Dash 10 let me know in the comment section below United Singapore Airlines that's all the airlines I can think of Oh, and before I forget, um, Grace, thank you so much for this lovely card. You really made my day. You put a big smile on my face. Uh, you touched my heart. This is like, this is those little gestures in life, you know, that make a difference, that make, uh, and that certainly did. And this card is going to get a very special place somewhere next to my desk. So always be reminded of my very first flight uh, on Singapore Airlines. So thank you, Grace. So we just started our descent into Singapore and um, yeah, what to say, it was like a flawless flight. It was a wonderful flight, uh, a lot of good energy here, the crew was great. I just went up there into the galley, had a bit of a chat, uh, very genuine people. I, I knew that Singapore Airlines was priced and that they were decent, like if not the best airline in the world. And I gave them a try on this regional flight and for example yesterday I flew Malaysia Airlines in a regional flight in business class and uh, though it was a great flight this is a different level food was good the in-flight entertainment seemed great so I have to come back for a longer flight to actually put it to a proper test uh, so it's the hard product it's wonderful it's brand new as well it's functional and it's just um, yeah, it's very lux luxurious. So yeah, I wish I could say something bad or have a bit of criticism or tell you something I didn't like, but in fact, I was very pleased. Yeah, it doesn't happen that often. I probably have to put them on a test on a long haul flight to get like a better idea. But for, for a regional product, top notch, spotless, flawless, uh, that's what you want it to be. Thank you very much Singapore Airlines for the great experience Until I fly them again Also now perhaps it's a great opportunity to subscribe to my channel You would make my day you would put a massive smile on my face Also, let me know in the comment section below what you think of Singapore Airlines 
and whether it has met your expectations. But, uh, yeah, that's it for now. As usual, guys, wherever you're off to, have a great trip. Enjoy uh, the end of the summer. Make the best out of it. And uh, until my next review. So have a good day. Enjoy. And also follow me on Instagram. <laughs> and check out my Patreon. Oh, whatever. Just get off. Okay, over. Done. Out.